Hi everyone, today's video is going to be an update on my weekly product pan. So every single week I randomly draw one item from my collection. And this week it was the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Color in the shade Pronto Purple. So you can see that in the bottle it's got this really nice kind of a micro shimmer effect. I really like it in the bottle. And then on my fingers, I, I'm, just, I'm just kind of okay about it. It is a dark purple, obviously. I have applied it twice now. I found that the first time I did kind of thin coats because that's usually what I do. And it looked really matte, even with a sesh vite top coat. It was really matte and it just was kind of lackluster. You could really see ridges in my nails, which I don't generally have that problem. Um, and then I put it again, uh, or I reapplied it with a thicker coat and a thicker top coat of the Sesh Vite. I liked it better that way, but I still just don't love it. I don't look at my nails and think, mm, those are pretty. I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, got some nail polish on. So I'm just kind of indifferent towards it, and I don't want to be indifferent towards anything in my collection. I want to look at things and be like, hmm, that's pretty. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and declutter this nail polish. Um, I don't know, I, I got down to there. That's not so great, you know, because it's obviously a triangle, smaller at the vertex, and it gets larger as you go through. So, um, I'm going to declutter that from my collection. So now I'm going to go to random.org. Oh, that's, I was looking at Andy Stanberg with a mustache. We've been watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine and I was intrigued. Um, so yeah, I have 1,403 items in my collection, and I'm going to randomly choose one and we'll see. I did like having a nail polish though. I feel like I always draw eyeshadow palettes. 396, which does make sense that I always draw eyeshadow palettes because, you know, I have the most of those. But I kind of like switching it up and doing something a little different. 396. Where are you? There you are. Okay, it's an eyeshadow palette. Um, like I said, I generally do draw those. So this is the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. I'm excited to have picked this one. Um, oh man, now I gotta find it. I gotta back up. This is my Kanga Ottoman back there. Um, I can't find it. I just like kind of reorganized some things because I did my makeup inventory. And when I did that, everything got put in differently than it was before. Oh, here it is, Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. It was, of course, at the very bottom because that's where it should have been, knowing I was gonna pull it this week. Um, okay, just fit back in. Okay, come on. Sometimes they don't want to fit back in. Um, so, I pulled out the Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette. This is an old palette. Um, I keep this mainly because this silver is just beautiful, but that's not what I chose. I chose the shade Smoke. Well, that's nice because Smoke is actually not an option. Up in Smoke is what I chose. And that's this um, matte brown. It's a cooler tone brown. I thought that would be pretty in my eyebrows. So yeah, it's a matte cool tone brown. It's very nicely pigmented. You can't really knock it there. Um, it's not patchy. It does blend pretty well if I remember correctly. So yeah, I'm gonna play with this this week um, and see if I wanna keep it. I do go back and forth with this palette quite a bit, I do know that, um, just cause like I said, it's kind of a one note palette. I feel like you're gonna get a dark, cool tone, smoky eye, um, but I love this silver and I do love silver shadows and I've been wanting to wear some silver shadows. So I'll play with this all weekend. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I don't feel like I'm gonna make like a super lot of progress as far as, you know, because this is like about sorting through my collection, but it's also kind of fun to make progress on all my items. Um, but like, I don't think I'm gonna get like a dip or like hip pan or anything crazy in this this week. But yeah, I'm gonna play with this for a week and let you know how I feel about that. So that is my weekly product pan. As always, I hope you did enjoy it. Let me know if you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments. Um, go ahead and leave those down below and I'll just see you all real soon. Bye.